I'm going to review this uh, K72 100, so about four inches, 100 millimeters uh, chuck. Uh, I got it off uh, Amazon for uh, just under 60 Canadian dollars, about 45 American uh, with uh, shipping included. So extremely cheap. And uh, as you can see, it's number one quality, some brand name that no one knows. And uh, let's see what we got. Uh, so I guess uh, some uh, cap screws, uh, safety uh, chuck key. And here's the chuck itself. Seems to be uh, nicely packaged in a lot of oil. So the brand name is there, uh, the name, okay, uh, 2072, 100 is there, 3500 RPM, um, visually looks alright, I mean it's nothing uh, particularly uh, striking, I didn't cut myself yet on anything, uh, the chuck jaws don't seem to have on the outside too much things that I can cut myself on. The back looks well, there are some burrs here, uh, but uh, this is not really critical, so burring is here. Definitely can feel it. Um, let's see whatever the uh, supplied screws even fit this. They seem to fit. So always a bonus. So uh, let me quickly take this uh, and exactly love the safety feature. Uh, huh. This is interesting. Uh, the, uh, the actual scrolls are a little bit uh, they're not really, well, here we have, oh, you dig it out. So, uh, there seems to be some gunk in there, possibly grinding here. This is sharp, of course, it's not clean, so standard Chinese thing. Uh, the actual scrolls look all right. This is, there's pores, of course, everywhere here that uh, need to be taken care of. Uh, but this is standard. Uh, this thing looks like it was ground uh, to me of just, you know, but obviously this probably will need to be reground to make it semi-acceptable. Um, overall, you know, for something that costs next to nothing, it's about six pounds, three kilos. Um, once I debur it, uh, possibly grind it, uh, seems all right. Uh, well, it has to remember that the shipping is not really free. Uh, it probably costs for three kilos, approximately $20, I would guess, something somewhere around those lines, the, the company to use Amazon. Then they have to pay a fee, I believe, um, like uh, eight dollars, if I remember correctly. So the their costs are about twenty eight dollars just to sell it. So before it gets to Amazon, this chuck is worth about thirty one dollars. Um, so I assume they need to make some profit. So uh, say six dollars, so twenty five. Well, there's always uh, running Amazon. Uh, 
you know, um, business means that you get some returns. You might get, you have to pay the Amazon monthly fee, uh, maybe reply to some emails or just ignore them. Uh, so there are actually other costs. So I would say that at least $5. So that means that this truck has to arrive in Canada for about $20. Um, I assume shipping of them, this thing is not free from China, from the port to Canada. So that gives us what, $15? Uh, this thing costs around that in China. God, it's impossible to imagine how they can they make this for so little. I don't know, maybe they're losing money on this. So it's three kilos, so about two dollars a kilo for metal, plus some. Um, you know, obviously they have some waste, so that will gives us what around eight dollars. They must get steel cheaper, six dollars, so nine dollars to make it and make profit. So they have to make this truck for what, like six dollars to make like three dollars profit. Uh, it's just amazing that they can actually make this truck, pay for materials, pay for someone and make it for 20 Canadian and still make profit out of it. So now you understand that, yes, no one will have time to cut all the bores. And this is pretty quickly done. I mean, for God's sake, it's like almost nothing. I even didn't count the packaging. There must be like, you know, 30 cents that cost them just to print this stuff. Um, so yeah, that's my review. I'm happy. Uh, obviously this thing will need to be ground. So I will have to put the jaws together, each pair. And then uh, I ground it with a little grinding bit. And then I number all the jaws. Uh, I might do that. Uh, it might not be needed. So, uh, uh, the actual um, utilization of it might not really require too much precision, we see. But, uh, you know, for next to nothing, it's a good deal. Um, the clamping range of this is the size, so it's about four inches, um, which is fine for my purposes, which I make a video on later. So uh, thank you for watching.